Some time ago, I created a tutorial showing you step-by-step -step how to create a transparent header. Now, since then, I've been getting quite a few uh, emails where people are asking me why their inside pages are affected by this transparency, especially if you use very light colors on your menu. Now, let me show you what I mean by this. So if I come over here to the About page, you'll notice that our header area here has been affected by the transparency and therefore um, our links here, our menu has also been affected and this is not a good result. So in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to fix this problem. Today's tutorial is made possible by divicake.com. Check out the huge selection of Divi themes, layouts and plugins. The link is in the description below. So let's start by fixing this issue on this page. So I'm going to enable the visual builder. Right, so what I'm going to do here is to add a brand new full width section. So I'm going to click this plus button, click on full width. So what I would like for this is uh, perhaps maybe even page titles. So I'm going to scroll down here and here we go. We have a full width post title. So what this does is it takes on the, uh, the name of the actual page. So let me show you what I mean by that. Okay, so before I can go in and customize the full width post title, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by adding a background color because by doing this, I'll just show you quickly how you can dramatically change how things look on the header area of your website. So I'm going to come over here to background and click this plus button. So I'm just adding a random color here because just for the sake of time. But of course, ideally, you want to add a color that works with the colors that you've chosen for the brand of your website. Okay, so now that I've chosen my color over here, the next thing I'm going to do is to come to elements. So I don't need all these things that are here, like, for example, the, the show mater and also the featured image. I don't need all of that. Uh, here I've got the title, which is the about us that we have here, which is great. I'm going to come over here to design and click on text. So what we can do here is to change this text color from dark to light so we can read it. Okay, so what we, what we may also want to do is to add some padding right here on the bottom because this title is very close to the edge. So I'm going to come over here to spacing and add some padding. So let me start off with 20. So I think that looks okay. For now, I'm going to click on save. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this all the way to the top like that. So now, do you see how this full width post title now takes over that area? This is exactly what we need to do to all our pages. So what you can then do now is to go in and further customize this text. So let's say I come over here to uh, module settings one more time, click on design. I can go in and fine tune my text. So let's say I want to um, add a specific font to this. I can go in and choose my font over here. So I can make it all caps and also change the type of font that I'm using. And um, I can also add some letter spacing if I wanted to, like that. Right. So now that I have all this, in fact, I can add some uh, line height as well, just a little bit. So I'm pretty much happy with that. In fact, I may even go in and add a specific color for this and add some transparency like that. So we don't want the title to be right in your face. So that's very subtle and I think this looks good. So I want to go ahead now and save. Now, this is what you would need to do to all your pages on your website. I know this is uh, quite annoying because it can be a lengthy process if you have so many pages on your website, but this is the best way to do it. Now, let's say you want to add an image to this background. You can always go in and make those customizations and add an image for each header area for each page. Now that I have all this, what you can also do here is you can go here into and save this section to the library. So if I click this button here, I could call this page headers like that. And then I'm going to make this a global item because by making it a global item, it means every time I go in and make changes to this particular uh, page title, those changes will be applied across the board to all the pages on my website. So let's say at a later stage, uh, you decide to change the branding of your company or of the website that you're working on. As soon as you make this change here once, it will be applied throughout the whole website, which is a great uh, move because if you were to do this on every single page and you have, let's say, 100 pages or even 200 pages, this can take you a very, very long time. So 
using this library feature is ideal and making sure that it's set to make this a global item. So that's what you want to do. Okay, so uh, I'm going to save this for now. And then after this, you can now go in and add all the extra elements on your page and make the page look however you want it. Today's tutorial is made possible by divicake.com. Check out their huge selection of DV themes, layouts, and plugins. The link is in the description below. Okay, so there you have it. This is how you solve the issue of your transparent headers affecting all your inside pages on your website. If you'd like to learn how to design websites using WordPress or Divi, I have a course which, is, which has a discount right now as we speak. So all that information will be in the link in the description below. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and press the bell notification in order for you to be notified every time I post new videos. So thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.